And the number 10th reason, when you don't study the, the, the book, the Bible, hey, glory to God, amen, you break all the commandments, especially the commandment of adultery. You're seeing other wipe their mouth, commit adultery, see other wipe their mouth and say, I don't, I, I have a ground to get another man or to get another woman. My friend, adultery is adultery. And there's two forms of adultery. The adultery of looking to lusting with your eye. You see somebody, glory, that's not your wife, not your husband, but you're lusting after them. You're taking their clothes off with your eyes and with your mind. The Bible says, cast down high imagination and everything that exalts against the knowledge of God and bring it into the obedience unto Christ. Put your mind in obedience to Christ. Put your eye. Hallelujah. Job said, I made a covenant with my eyes. You let your eyes get you in trouble. Hey, glory to God. I'm talking about saints. I'm talking about people that go to church. Going to church don't save you. Going to church, my friend, is going to a concert or going to a club. Look at the women dress. Look at the men dress. They dress like they're going to a celebrity hall. Or they're going to an Oscar Hall. They're going to Hollywood. This supposed to be a church. The Bible say, dress as becoming saint. Dress not in costly or rare. But women ought to adore themselves not in costly wear or jewel or brody hair. Hey, glory to God. Come on. Dress as becoming saint. But some of y'all going to say, don't render your heart, but render your garment. Yes, I know that you, but you don't dress like a uchi mama with your breast showing, your your butt showing, come on. Your 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 organs showing, come on. But these things come in adultery. We let come in adultery. We wipe our mouth and saying, "Have a ground to get another man. Have a ground to get a woman." No, you don't, because the Bible say in Malachi, "I hate putting away." And then disciples asked Jesus, Jesus, why did Moses gave them the voice, man? Because the hardness of your heart, you put away your wife. But in the beginning, it was not so. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm not upset, my friend, but I'm trying to preach the word of God. I'm trying to tell you that the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God, which nobody wants, is eternal life. You don't want eternal life? Eternal life is the being in heaven. Eternal life or the being in hell. You decide which way you heading. You heading to the broad way or you heading to the narrow way. The narrow way is eternal life. And the broad way is going to hell. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm telling people right now. The Bible says there's a way that seems right unto a man. But the end thereof is the way of the... And he said it two times. He said it twice in the Proverbs. And Proverbs is for men and proverb is for women but proverb especially for men because men got a problem with prostitutes especially pastors pastors got problem with prostitutes hallelujah glory to god hallelujah but 10th reason amen we don't study the book because if you study the book you wouldn't put away your wife you would have put away your husband and get you another one. You've been married five times. You like the woman at the well. She been married five times and she's got a nerve to say, I don't have a, no husband. The Jesus Christ said you have five and the man you have right now is not your husband. She say, you, you are a prophet. And the Bible said she left a water pot and went to the city and told them, come see a man and tell me everything they have done. Yes, Jesus Christ can tell you everything you're doing wrong and what you're doing right. But you're wrong, I'll weigh your right. Hey, glory to God. The Bible said, unbalanced weight is an abomination to the Lord. Hey, glory to God. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not picking. I'm not picking, but I'm preaching righteousness. God didn't call me to sugarcoat. God didn't call me to tell it, to don't tell the truth, but to lie. I'm not going to lie to you, and so you can go to hell. When I stand before God, God going to say, depart from me. He workers of iniquity. But I'm going to say, Lord, I prophesy your name. I cast out demons. And God said, I never knew you because you're preaching what people want to hear. I don't want you to preach what people want to hear. I want to preach what I say from the Holy Script. The Holy Script say, the wages of sin is is death, 
but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Go to God. Hallelujah. And an eleventh thing we do, why well, when we don't study the word of God, don't know the word of God, you believe everything you hear and fear and sickness come upon you because of stress. The Bible say men heart fail them because of fear. The Bible say, Lord, men heart fail. You have a heart attack because you fear. But the Bible say, God, go to the perfect love cast out fear. If you have fear, you don't have no faith. God have not given a spirit of fear, but of power and of a love and of a sound mind. Sanity, my friend. Hallelujah. He said, casting all your cares upon him. Why are you fearful? Don't, the Bible say, don't fear the man that can kill a body. Have nothing else to fear, but fear him. Who is him? Jesus Christ. Can, can kill both body and soul into hell. Hell that people don't believe in. If you in a sitting in an organization that don't believe in hell, get out of there soon as possible. Like now, stop going there because the Bible preach about hell. Jesus Christ was a hell preacher. He's a fire and brimstone preacher. And if your pastor is not preaching about hell, get out of there right now because he's not preaching the Bible. He's preaching sugar coat. He's an orator. He's a motivational speaker. He making merchandise of you because you become a fool. You don't want to preach. You want to hear about hell. Hell offend you. Hallelujah. Hell offend you? Hallelujah. Glory to God. There's some organization that's big that don't believe in hell. They say hell is a myth. Carlton Pearson say that I don't believe in hell. But hell is real, whether you believe it or not. And the twelfth one, my friend, is to join a cult that look Christian because they quote the Bible, but a scripture is not preached and lived by leaders of organization or denomination. Being a Baptist don't save you. Being a Pentecostal doesn't save you. Being a Seventh Adventist doesn't save you. What save you? That Jesus Christ is is the Bible. Baptized in the water and filled with the Holy Ghost, Act two thirty eight, and go and John three and and five and three. This save a man, not organization or denomination. You gonna hell because you in a domination. You in hell because you in you, you went to an organization. My friend, going to an organization or being an organization won't save you. What save you is the word of God. What save you? You acting upon the word of God, not going to church, not saying amen, but living what you preach. Hearing what you what you have heard from the word of God. That will preach you. The reason why people are damning themselves because they don't live what they heard. You are just a hearer and have a doer of the word of God. What happened when you don't know or study the word of God? You follow everybody, but you don't follow God's word. The reason why you're lost because you have not been found. God find a man. God find a woman. God find you. You don't find God. God find you. When you start believing, receiving, and living 24-7 the gospel, that's when God find you. But if you don't believe, you're going to hell. If you don't believe, you're going to hell, my friend. You got to believe the Bible for yourself. Hallelujah. Save yourself an untoward generation.